if that builds and builds, where does it go? What does that mean for me? What does that mean for all the trans community? I actually, I genuinely don't know. Do I think JK Rowling has committed a hate crime and deserves locking up in jail? Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexis Blake. I am a trans woman and I share my life stories and opinions on social media. So we have a little bit of an update on the JK Rowling situation. So recently me and my partner Liam, we did a podcast about JK Rowling looking at all of the historical events that have caused people to call her a turf or a transphobe or anti-trans. And we kind of deemed it that it wasn't directly transphobic. She was just defending her right to be a woman, but was there some problematic things in there? Absolutely. However, new things have come to light. There's been new occurrences and instances, and I want to talk about them today because they are a little bit problematic in my opinion. We're going to go through it. We're going to look at what's happened, and I will give my full opinion on whether I fully think she is anti-trans or not, because I don't know. I've briefly seen some of these bits and it's not the best in my opinion, but we're just going to dig in and try and be as unbiased and logical thinking as possible. Let's go. A sensational row has broken out between JK Rowling and India Willoughby after the Harry Potter author branded the trans broadcaster a man. JK Rowling has definitely committed a crime. I'm legally a woman. So um, you reported... J.K. Rowling. I have reported to the police. J.K. Rowling to the police. I don't know that if that's going to be treated as a hate crime, malicious communications, but it's a cut and dried offence, as far as I'm concerned. Before we unpack what we just watched, because that's a lot, we're going to dig into the actual tweets and where this came from and why India Willoughby has reported J.K. Rowling to the police. They aren't the best. I'm not going to lie. The tweets aren't the best. Do I think it's worthy of being reported to the police? No. So J.K. Rowling wrote on Twitter, India didn't become a woman. India is cosplaying a misogynistic male fantasy of what a woman is. India Willoughby then responded, genuinely disgusted by this grotesque transphobia, which is upsetting. I am every bit as much of a woman as JK Rowling, recognised in law and by everyone I interact with every day. The debate about whether JK Rowling is a transphobe is over. Okay, misgendering someone purposefully, I guess it isn't nice. Of course, there is a backstory with that between them both. And is India completely guilt-free? Has she done things that have been harsh and cruel to JK Rowling? I don't know. But I want to look at this as a lot of you guys will, or a lot of most people will, will be that they will just see this story come up for the first time, maybe. Or maybe they don't know the backstory of the two's feuds. And my initial response is, India doesn't like what JK Rowling said. Fair enough, I get why it's it's not very nice. J.K. Rowling was harsh and it was mean and she is directly and purposefully misgendering someone, which isn't the best. However, that's not why I have a problem with what J.K. Rowling's done at all. They can bicker all they want. I don't really care. <laughs> but the, the thing that bothers me a little bit about this, and I guess is what is bothering a lot of people, is that J.K. Rowling has 14 million followers on X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it. 14 million people can theoretically view that tweet and see it and see that, oh, look, J.K. Rowling thinks it's okay to call a trans woman a man. Does that mean it's okay for everyone else to do it? In the basic, she is misgendering someone on purpose, calling a trans woman a man. When you take everything else away from the situation, that's what she's doing. By putting that on social media, does that mean the 14 million people that follow her, are they going to think that they can do that? Do they think it's then okay for them to misgender people on purpose? Because as I was flicking through TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, just looking into this and trying to get a bit of a backstory or what's going on, a lot of the stuff that I saw was really, really negative towards trans people. And it's almost like JK Rowling by misgendering someone on purpose on a public platform as a public figure is then giving the green light to anyone who is remotely transphobic or slightly anti-trans. It gives them the green light to then do it as well. I, I, I don't think it's warranting the police being called. And India does say it's a hate crime, which we're going to talk about in a second. But in my opinion, I don't think, I think that was a very serious reaction but it's it's a really difficult one. It's a really difficult one. And I don't want people to come after me thinking that I'm not taking this seriously. I am taking it seriously. Of course I am. But I think the word transphobic is such a serious word and it's been thrown around a lot. So the meaning of it is getting diluted quite a lot as well. And do I think 
by J.K. Rowling maybe calling out India's poor behaviour. Is that fair and right? That's okay if she wants to do that. But by directly misgendering her, that's the problem that I have because so many people can see that and then replicate that behaviour. Okay, let's watch a little bit more clips of what other people have to say about it online. You know, the reality is, is that people do get questioned by the police. People lose their jobs uh, over these things. People are told they're transphobic. They are branded bigots. In a number of tweets JK sent yes, last night, she said, aware as I am that it's an offence to lie to law enforcement, I'll simply have to explain to the police that in my view, that's her view. She says India is a classic example of the male narcissist who lives in a state of perpetual rage that he can't compel women to take him at his own valuation. In my eyes, the way I'm trying to look at it as like a third party without any sort of preempted bias towards either of them, because I don't really know a great deal about India if I'm being completely honest as well. Again, I'm trying to look at it from like an outsider. But just hearing that tweet again, yes, India may have shown signs of misogynistic, narcissistic, rude behaviour, but does that warrant a public misgendering? It just worries me, and it genuinely does worry me, because if JK Rowling can say these things and get away with it, and it's sort of just deemed as free speech, or it's deemed that it's her opinion, which it is, and that's fair enough. But if it's deemed that, then does it mean other people can get away? And where is the boundary of what people can say to trans people and what can people not say to trans people? I think that's just sort of my opinion. It's just verging on the, the domino effect of what this will cause. Let's watch another little clip from another YouTuber and see what he has to say. There's also an extremely thin skin nature to India's actions that I just don't have much respect for. Whatever happened to the whole concept of sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. I'm sure that given the size of JK Rowling's platform, India probably did receive a lot of hate tweets and backlash after JK Rowling's tweet went out. Even this guy, who I think is quite clearly on J.K. Rowling's side and against India, he can understand that India would have then received a lot of transphobic, nasty, mean messages and whatnot. So even he can explain that. But then he then goes on to say about how sticks and stones may break my bones, but calling names won't hurt me. But So again, just playing devil's advocate here, India is a human being and all human beings obviously feel things. So we don't know what she is going through. So to have this lobby of hate thrown towards her must be incredibly overwhelming. Just going back to the original interview where India did say this. I have reported JK Rowling to the police for what she said, which I don't know that if that's gonna be treated as a hate crime, malicious communications, but it's a cut and dried offence as far as I'm concerned. I obviously know what a hate crime is, but I wanted to look at the actual legal definition. So a hate crime is any criminal offence which is perceived by the victim or any other person to be motivated by hostility or prejudice based on a person's race, religion, sexual orientation, disability, and any crime motivated by hostility or prejudice against a person who is transgender or perceived to be transgender. Do I think JK Rowling has committed a hate crime and deserves locking up in jail? No, I don't think that is what she deserves. It just, it's obviously a pattern of behaviour that is getting worse and worse. She also posted this a few months ago, which I missed before my previous video and I didn't speak about. Again, it is just her opinion, but by pushing her opinion on social media and having such an influence, that's what is the scariest thing to me, I guess I'm trying to say. I think the best way that India could have handled this personally in that interview, rather than explaining she'd gone to the police or X, Y, Z, it's a hate crime, to just simply say, I'm a big girl, I'm fine, but it worries me because... J.K. Rowling has a large reach and if she thinks it's okay to say these things and misgender directly on purpose and be cruel, will other people then think it's okay? That's the way that I'm looking at it. Because when I look at, go, I go through YouTube and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling, I'm looking at all these news outlets, news outlets that are going after India and agreeing with J.K. Rowling and slating India and saying 
all this stuff, it, it does come across with an, a transphobic undertone. And again, if that builds and builds, where does it go? What does that mean for me? What does that mean for all the trans community? I actually, I genuinely don't know. To sum up, I think JK Rowling needs to be held accountable for what she says. She is a public figure and what she has done is, it's just not great. I don't, I don't want to say it's evil, it's anti-trans, it's this, it's that. Because I don't know the full motivation behind her and what she said and why she said it. But face value from just looking up from the outside in. I don't want to say it's transphobic, but I do believe personally it is problematic. And those two are very, very different things. I'm going to leave it there. I want to ignore India's past and J.K. Rowling's past and just look at this isolated incident. What do you think? Do you think she is transphobic? I think my opinion has shifted for sure on her, which is sad, but it is what it is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And I will see you in next week's podcast with my partner, Liam. Bye.